From hating studying to loving learning, let's have a real talk about academic validation. Now the first thing, the first reason that comes to my head as to why people don't like studying is because we tend to equate studying and learning as the same thing, right? We tend to equate studying as this process of you know, continuously doing the same thing over and over again, just repeating the same thing, almost as if it's quite cumbersome and like it's a burden, right? But real life learning, that is for you. We tend to generally do studying for some sort of external validation, right? When it comes to exams and grades, the reason why people do not like studying is because we associate studying to performance, right? To performing on an exam, to getting that good grade, because we all equate studying to external validation to gain that sense of praise and satisfaction from a certain group of people, let's say from our parents, friends, other family members that, oh, our kid has got, you know, a 90% they are you know really good at their studies so they should do this as a career right often it's like that but when it comes to learning right you when you learn something for yourself and when you take that information for yourself when you're doing it for the sake of your own internal sense of validation that is when you truly realize that there's so much more to studying right you can actually make the process fun and really enjoy what you're learning I don't think there's anyone better than me to explain to you guys what it actually feels like to love learning versus what it feels like to study for the sake of academic validation. So, a little bit of story time. So, for context, I used to live in Singapore as a kid and I would essentially go to the libraries a lot in my free time, right? And what I would do is I would take up a biology book. So, I would go to the biology section and I would just take up a random book like, you know, something on DNA synthesis or like something on embryology something that was not typical for a 12 year old kid to do at all I would just take up that book and I would sit and read in the library for hours on end that was essentially what my solo dating idea was as a kid I would just go and sit in the library around like a bunch of other kids who were probably reading something very different from what I was but I would take that book and I would just look at it and what I would do is I would make these journals pretending like I was some sort of scientific journalist and I would condense all of that information that I learned from the biology book into these like very aesthetic notes and like these journals that looked quite like scientifically written. To me, I loved doing that process and the reason is because I was doing something for myself. I wasn't doing it to like show anyone that oh this is you know, like this is proof that I'm an academic weapon and this is proof that I'm really good at this subject, whatever. I was doing it because it fueled my sense of desire to learn more about the subject and to just do what I truly enjoyed, right? And that is what, that's the point in my life where I realized that like learning and studying are not the same thing, right? Learning can be so much fun and it can be so much more than what people imagine it to be. Alright, second thing is I want to talk about the mindset shift that I had between high school and university that led me to see, you know, my academic performance as a bit of a different thing, right? So what I'm talking about is actually attaching myself to my academic success, my sense of self and my sense of worth throughout high school, majority of it, yes, did come from academic success. And I think when you grow in that environment for such a long time where your brain is constantly attaching you know one thing to completely unrelated things that is your personality as such to academic success and your grades and your academic performance how well you do in school you tend to you know grow up in that environment and become conditioned to it it becomes very difficult to get rid of that mindset as an adult unless you take concrete steps to really get out of that environment and change the actions that you take on a daily basis. In high school, when you are, you know, I mean, obviously the environment is such that you have to perform and you have, you're expected to get certain grades. I guess you guys need to really slowly start detaching your sense of self-worth from your grades, right? It's a really good thing if you want to do it for yourself. If, you know, you are the type of person that enjoys gaining that sense of validation from academic success then that's on you right that is something that you are doing for yourself but if it comes down to the fact that you're doing it because of all of this noise this like external pressure of like parents pushing you to get a specific grade on a specific subject so you can go to a specific college or you choosing a path that you know you 
you really want not choosing a path that you really wanted to do and choosing a path instead that your parents wanted to that is where it really becomes a problem because you are letting your academic validation and sense of self attached to academic success essentially run your entire life you're not making conscious choices at that point and it was only in university when i started to detach from perfectionism and academic success right when it comes to kids who are really academically inclined as you know when they were younger you often are striving for perfection right so you're striving for that really high grade and if you do not get that high grade you have like a reputation to maintain i think at one point even in high school i was like that like i had this reputation i always had the subconscious thing where i had to maintain a reputation and consistently get those grades in order to be perceived as smart so when you come to university your environment is new right nobody knows you you can completely change and completely rewire how you think about your academics and slowly enough when i was in university at the start of this year i stopped looking at my grades as a opportunity for perfection okay i instead i just went by you know what i wanted to do i was less like pressured to you know do things a certain way i put less pressure on myself to study consistently and all the time and just make sure that i was doing enough to get the grades that i wanted and not necessarily those hundreds on every single exam and like every single test so yes i do challenge all of you guys who have just finished your a levels or just finished your gcses or gcses to you know get out of that slump or like that situation that you have been in for so long for 13 years of schooling i want you guys you academic weapons out there to change your mindset as you shift into the new course of your life into university and just try to be a little bit nicer to yourself when it comes to grades and studying all right third thing if you get a low grade on you know a particular test that does not mean you're dumb right like there's not that does not mean that you are you know a bad person or that like you're stupid or you can't achieve anything right because on honestly to be very frank the education system in a lot of countries is designed in such a way that once you crack that code let's say like memorization for a certain subject you will do very well academically right but that's not the case in certain other environments like university that focus more on you know actual learning and not just the studying process right you can very easily crack high school because of the sort of restricted system that it you know puts you in when it comes to learning right which is why i think a lot of the times like when you are that academic um, child in high school it becomes very difficult for you to transition into uni where it's a completely different environment so i would say do not attach your self worth to your grades because and especially do not think that you know because you do well in high school it'll be very easy for you that's another thing right like i know so many people who did so well in high school that it kind of inflated their confidence a little bit too much and then you know they start slacking off because i actually came across this thing recently and it's the fact it's the science behind the fact that apparently if you do the same thing over and over again for an extended period of time when you get out of that environment that you were doing that thing in you do the exact opposite so when you think about it if you are you know the type of person in high school to study all the time and you do not have any sense of balance and that's the only thing that you've been doing when you go out of high school into a new environment you will do the opposite thing and you tend to procrastinate a lot more than you did in high school right so i want you guys to really just stop taking things so seriously and stop aiming for perfectionism when it comes to grades i think another thing i want to add on to that is associating grades and success academic success to happiness right you can be happy regardless of the grades that you get and unfortunately i have only realized that when i came to university that happiness can be found in so many different forms in the littlest of things like if you you know you want to make yourself a nice breakfast with all the things that you like to eat that in itself can make you happy and excited about the next day to come you know if you want to go out for a walk alone or you want to go to a cafe for a solo date alone that can make you happy right i think i'm growing up as a kid with like a lot of pressure to perform really well in terms of academics i did associate a lot of my like happiness to getting good grades 
and I kind of used to think that like okay only if I get this thing I will be happy or only if I get this grade you know I'll get into the university I want I'll only then be happy if I get into the university I want but I don't think that is the case anymore for me as at least because I can now truly find happiness in any little thing it's not that I need to achieve something really big and oftentimes what I found is that even after I achieved like this really really big thing that was difficult very very difficult to achieve and I had put my mind on it since high school I did not feel the same level of happiness that I did after doing something very minuscule like you know going out for a solo date to a place that I always wanted to go I want you guys to actually like have a discussion in the comment section down below why do you guys think that is maybe have you researched about the science behind this let me know what your guys' thoughts are about this in the comment section down below and the last thing I want to mention is that grades are a representation of how well you conform to the system's expectations and how what I mean by that is how well can you impress the examiner is essentially what exams are all about nowadays at least I think the education system really needs to change about this the fact that you have those mark schemes with specific answers especially with subjects like biology that in high school level are not even you know comprehension based they're not even understanding based they're entirely on memorization most of the time it's those systems that really restrict you and make you have that negative perception about grades and also realize this and if you get a bad grade it's not when i say it's not the end of the world i know it sounds like cliche where you're like oh it's not the end of the world but it's more so that you know the reason why you got that bad grade is just because you did not do things the specific way that the examiners want you to do often it does not have anything to do with how you understood that topic how well you understand the topic and how good you actually are with the topic but more so if you can hit those examiner expectations is what actually results in it and also nothing lasts forever right one bad grade is not going to determine pretty much anything unless it's like you know very significant when it comes to university so I think one thing is that we need to take things a little bit more easily and take things less seriously oh, this is what I'm trying to say overall right stop putting this much pressure on yourself to achieve the perfect grades stop aiming for perfection grades are just one thing one part of your life there are so many more interesting things about you than just your grades and just your academic performance you know there's things like how you speak to other people how you speak to yourself your values your morals emotional intelligence uh, just your personality how you are how you carry yourself things like that right so there are so many aspects to you than just your academic success so keep that as only one part of your life is what i'm trying to say and that's it for this video guys i hope you liked it if you did do make sure to like share and subscribe to Biolog. i hope this video gave you academic weapons out there a little bit of comfort you know if you're stressed about upcoming exams or any tests that you've got i wish you guys all the very best for any of that and with that i will see you guys in my next video have a great day